motorcycle adventure Dirt Bike TV, supported proudly by Adventure Spec in the UK, Rally Raid Products, Giant Loop in the United States, Adventure Moto in Australia, Pirelli Tyres, Motel Oils, RK Chains and Australian Adventure Bike Magazine. Clubby and I were invited along to the Central West Tour, organised by the ride adv.com.au motorcycle touring company. For those new to adventure or for those who are time poor, or riders who just want to meet like-minded people, this ride is a super sampler of what New South Wales has to offer adventure riders. Clubby is bringing along his freshly minted Cyanine Blue Yamaha T700 and I'm testing a 2021 KTM 890 Adventure R and shooting some footage for the test. The video is a ride report if you like with some highlights and some stunning scenery. There is a wide range of brands and rider experience on this ride and Clubby and I have a close look at the different setups. An interesting section for those wanting to see what others are doing. The owners of RideADV.com.au, Greg and Crash, have selected some brilliant mouth-watering tracks for us to ride. And this is the beauty of this type of tour. The route is plotted on your GPS and all you have to do is follow the dotted line. There are a heap of advantages to going on a ride like this, but for me, the track selection and backup if something goes wrong are the key attractions. Occasionally, a challenge will come your way that may test you beyond your comfort zone. Rest assured, solutions will be found to skirt around that challenge if it's too much. Greg and Crash go out of their way to ensure riders of varying skill levels have a great time. That doesn't seem right. No, that's it. It's all right. I've got a purple one. Well, that'll be Kodak Gold there. You right? Hang on. First section. Day one, section one. And we've got carnage already. I haven't used that word for a while. Carnage. Come and have a look, Dave. Come and have a look over the edge. They're still back down the bottom, mate. God. We did it all right, Clubby. Oh, like, there's a good just, line on the right. There's a good line there's on the a right. Crap line on the left. Yeah, you get in that line on the. I looked at that and it looked like the Valley of Doom on the left. Yeah, there was a bit of doomsday going on there. Yeah. Oh, I've got to get out of the layer, mate. While we have a spell. They're going down, Clubby. Are we ever going to see them again? I don't know, mate. I think. Here goes TV. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Yeah, that's a real slippery gravel surface, I've got to tell you. Bit of sand. Oh gee, I hit that a little bit too hard, put too much weight on the front wheel. It's a good way to get a pinch flat. Should have been riding a little bit lighter. It's been a lot of rain, so a lot of the ghoulies are sharp edged. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Yep. 
Oh wow, I haven't seen that before. Tell me someone to get a photo, please. You're right. Oh, your boots stuck in there. Hang on. One, two, three. Where were you, boys? Where were you? All on camera. I got it, I got it, I got it. The cub reporter's got it. <laughs> he came in. <laughs> What's tricky about that? God, clubby. Gets out a bit. way down here. This will be interesting. Yes. Uh, get in the wheel tracks, that's the first thing. Power off. Keep the power off. Go through. Fast. Fast. They're all passing. 
they come. He who hesitates is lost. Drive on, drive on, get a momentum. He's through. Alright, so who owns the 790? How's it going? How many k's have you done on it? I've done probably about 1500 on it now. Right. I bought a second hand. Yeah. Uh, it's got about 12,000 k's on it now. What's the features that you love best about it? The tech. Yeah. Being able to dial in the traction control, turn all the ABS on and off. So it was what attracted me to the bike. Yeah, and um, how do you find the fuel range? Right. Yeah. 420 k's out of a tank. 420 for you? Yep. Alright, yeah. Oh, that's good. Real world? Yep. And you, ha you haven't taken advantage of the... Oh. Bruce, yeah, it looks like it you... Bruce. Bruce, it looks like you got your head up his gehyber. I know! I know! It looks like you're a uh, proctologist. This is adventure riders sacrificing themselves make sure their mates are comfortable. Now, I was just wondering why you were talking about my hairstyle. <laughs> you seem like you're well equipped to talk about my hair. <laughs> I am. Can you get your oh. finger out of his date, please? <laughs> oh, Bruce. Come on. Stuck. That's stuck. Nah, don't worry about it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Mate, where your arm looks from this video <laughs> is obscene. <laughs> it's absolutely obscene. I'll, t I'll turn away viewers, turn you just can't, viewers. honestly, the angle does not look good. Oh, Dave, you're a master. <laughs> hey, look on the bright side, we get the dust off our gear today. Look at these bikes, there's a oh, KLR, yeah. KLR 650 here, look at that. Oh, where's on me? Yeah, I just got the story off a guy called Greg, owns that one. Yeah. He's only had it for a year, um, yeah. done only about 3,000 k's because of COVID and such. Yeah. But how's this, Dave? He came from a CRF 250L rally right. that was fully farkled and set up for him. He's, a, he's quite a tall guy yeah. and obviously knows his stuff and like had the CRF set up. Yeah. And then he's done, done this one now on the KLR, mate. And how good was his quote yesterday morning on all that slippery shaley crap, you know, ground? He was saying, oh, clubby, I really actually was hating it first thing in the morning, but then grew into it through the day. He grew into it. Technic's yeah. done some suspension yeah, for him. Yeah, Technic's done it on it, mate. He's done the airbox mods and stuff. Got a Ray Garage. Yeah. 690 here. That's looking flat. That looks slim. I don't know how you can say you can't handle that tower. No, that's a nice tower. I mean, I still don't have tower envy, but that's a nice tower. Very slim. It's compact compared to your... Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great one. Yeah, uh, a bit, bit of crash bars there for the... Yeah, but doesn't that just look light and lean? It does. And like when you tip over in a three inch deep mud hole, you can pick it up yourself, can't you? You can't, you can. You can. Bit of giant loop on there. Outback Matotech. Mm -hmm. I think... Oh, I may be wrong. About that guard. Yeah, no, she's set up that one. And just light and lean. Here's, a, here's another 690. Another Yeah, Rally Raid yeah, tanks. I don't know what he's got there for a bash plate. It's looking good. That's, see, he's just gone for a, got a truckload of LEDs there. The Mighty T7. Plenty of those around now, isn't there, mate? Eh? Yeah. So popular. But they just do everything. They are. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Technique on the front. You've got to, eh? Hey, you know, I like the riding yesterday. You've got to boost the suspension. No, that's the only thing. Especially. Yeah, that's all you've got to do. Spend a bit of money on suspension. There's another Technic WR250R. KDM 690 with a big, what's that, Safari tank? Great Mason luggage loader. Yeah. It's just unreal, isn't it? Same bike, same yeah, bikes, tech. but yeah. all the setups are different, aren't they? Yeah. Just an individual thing. Yeah. Mighty DR. 
Technic suspension again. But, uh, yeah. Mate, that if Nugget was here, he'd be he'd taking be a picture that, of that. Wouldn't he? He wouldn't ride it across the Simpson. Yeah, which he's done. Yeah. All right, what have we got? Is that a CRF? What's that down there? Africa Twin. Oh, 450 right CRF. Look at that. BMW. F850, GS, Acro Muffler. They've upgraded that from the 800, haven't they? Like yeah. It's just, it looks so better spec, mate. Yeah. Just evolution, isn't it? Evolution. Yeah, last time I rode them, they were a good, yeah. good thing. 21-inch yeah. front. Yeah. What's this over here? The Honda CRF. No, oh, look at that. He's got, he's got his fuel tank. Yeah. He needs a bit of. And a didn't fuel. we see him using that yesterday? Coming into Mudgee, uh, into yeah, into Mudgee. Yeah, yeah, needs a bit up. of fuel. So whatever happened to these days? Oh. They were here for what, 12, 18 months? Yeah, I think the service interval got to them as a. As yeah, a but you durable. still see them around, like they sold yeah. some, and, and it wasn't cheap. But now it's gone again. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You would have thought that had the potential to be a, a 450 rally. Yes. You know, like we've said so many times with the 300. Yeah. Again, service interval is one thing that yeah. stops that being a. Adventure bike, you know, full-time adventure bike, sure. but you can get away with an adventure. You can get to go get away with three or five day on it. Yeah, sure, sure. What else have we got? Oh, there's the CRF rally. This is the guy we talked into buying yeah. one. Look at this CRF rally 300, rare as rocking horse duty. Yeah. One of the only people we know who's got one at yes. the moment. Yeah. And he's loving it. It's great. Yep. Look at that puppy. He's got a bash plate. That's what we reckoned. Oh, don't, don't worry about any of that. Just look at his fork springs and his shock spring, mate. Let's have a look at his fork springs. You can't see them, but they're there. They're in there. They are. So and you got that suspension done or what? Yeah, yeah. So YSS on the back, a uh, big spring on the front for a start. So yeah, it's handled really well. Really happy. Now, this guy bought this as a result of our test on the CRF. And, and I mind betting he wouldn't be the only one too, mate. You know? No, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. did we do okay in the test? You did really well. I was That's very, good. very impressed. So as long as we get a pass. Yeah, get a pass. Uh, anyway, well, pass me in a week. I might change my mind. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you got the suspension done. That's all you had to do on this thing and get a bash plate and Bob's your uncle. That's it. Yep. Oh, and he's taped on a rack. This is the other thing. See, it's a 1980s style frame. You can tie things onto it, screw things on. Oh, he's got... Hang on, let's have a look under here. Let's do a reveal. Standard muffler at the moment, Clubby. That's a bit disappointing. Oh, look, it's a matter know. of priority. Excuse me, but that was a recommendation was the on the test. You know? <laughs> was. Just keep with the standard, wasn't it? And, uh, Suspension yeah, I think, was the priority. Yeah, I'll forgive you for that, because it really sounds like a fly's fart. Most it does. A <laughs> fly's fart. That's <laughs> a very apt <laughs> description. pretty quiet, yeah. our fly's fart. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, seriously. But, yeah, that's next. Yes, yeah. yeah. All right. I kind of hinted that you could get away with it, but... I, I got to say, I've, sorry, I've converted. I've moved on since the test. <laughs> no one hears me coming. Yeah. <laughs> no, no one hears you going. Yeah, that's right. No one hears you. <laughs> At all. Yeah. Yeah. The kangaroos don't move, eh? Well, that's the other thing. It's a bit of a kangaroo has it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a good one. It's another GS 800. Oh, look at these. Look at these blokes. <laughs> look at this. He's got the. Yeah, but his 300 is coming. Yeah, he's on the way, all right. He's I know. He was future. another one we've converted to the 300. He's mine. Right. He's already there. Good review, Dave. Well done. Good review. I've become a CRF 300 salesman, Clubby. That's right. Let's Honda, are you Honda. Honda, are you listening? Honda, are you listening? Cameron, are you listening? <laughs> we need one. <laughs> we want to do one up. You can have this one for a while if you want. No, we wouldn't do that to you. Not, not the way we ride. No, that's true. <laughs> Look at that, another one, Technic Suspension. God, if Nick Dole's around, he's got a great advertisement in this bunch. Yeah, Nick Shoes, he's Technic. Hey? But I think he's almost too busy, Nick, isn't he? Look at this, there's another, another one. one. Yeah. <laughs> Technic, Nick Dole, you must be happy with this bunch. They're happy because it works. <laughs> he knows what he's doing, Nick. Look at this one, Africa Twin. That's looking, I like them in black. I know you're not a plain black man, Clubby, but just blends into the ground, mate. Can't see it in imagery, mate. Moscow Moto luggage, and that's a decent bash plate, which you need on that. Oh, it's crash bars, yeah. This looks like it's from a Russian submarine. 
Uh, hang on, what's this over here? The Lion Husky 701. Oh, that one. There's two in there, Alas, isn't there? Yeah, a bit of Krieger. He's gone pretty minimalistic. I see he's... See, this is the thing I didn't like, and uh, he's done the same thing as... Um, you know, I replaced your fuel cap? Just replaced yeah. the fuel cap, because yeah. I was worried about breaking the key. So these are just a throw over design, aren't they? Have a throw base, over design, yeah. And you can attach the different size Krieger Yeah, look, bags, he's kept his, his handles on. Yeah. He's gone for a wings exhaust. I can see these coming to try though. So Mate, they're good. See. They're great. They're yeah, great. It works. Yeah. And <laughs> Ramps mount. And, uh, yeah, she's pretty lightly done, isn't it? Very light. Oh. But isn't this a gorgeous thing? Oh, they're calling us over, yeah. The kid on yeah, this. Look at this. Them. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Wings exhaust. Eight litres on each side. About seven and a half, he said yesterday, each side. Seven and a half each side. Yeah. Tower. All right. Blockbusters, look at that tower with all that gear up there. Yeah. Oh, all right, the all right let's go over. Well, that was a good sample of Australian mm. couture. Yeah, but it's like every ride you go to. It's all about making your bike what you want. Yeah, he's crashed. He's going to tell us some good news. Look, he's clean at the moment. You'd never guess there's been a bit of rain around. So uh, it's raining in Dubbo at the moment still. Um, Tullamore and that's had about 17 mil, so you're going to have to be pretty careful of some of the muddy sections and that. Just keep your eyes out because if it looks like it's slippery, it probably is, and if it doesn't look like it's slippery, it probably is. So you just got to, you know, have your eyes on and just be very careful about what you're doing. You got to remember too, it's getting closer to the weekend now, and everyone's been locked up and away, and there'll be people out there everywhere. So just keep that in mind. Like we always say, we've got to make sure we keep left and keep safe and um, just be aware. You know, everything's a public road, no matter where we are, it's all, it's all open to anyone else being out there. So, um, the boys went out early this morning. Um, there's a few flags and that up, so just keep your eyes out for the orange flags. You see that sort of thing in the distance, you obviously back off a bit because uh, there's something going on up ahead. Now, you might find that there'd be nothing there when you get there, but when they came through, there might have been some, there might have been you know cattle or something like that, or some sort of uh, animals on the on the go there. So just be careful about that. Um, so obviously we had to cut out a lot of the black sand section, black soil sections, and that because they're just nightmares. Trying to get 30 or 40 blokes through there is a night. So there'll be a bit more tar in that today than we wanted, but there's no way around that, unfortunately, the way the weather's going. Um, Just picking up our GPS's before we head out. Unfortunately, Clubby and I could only do two days of this five day ride which is becoming a highlight on the rideadv.com.au calendar. Our sport is growing rapidly and I can't think of a better way to learn the ropes than to book yourself in with a ride with Greg and Crash. They offer a range of events including skills training days and adventure setup. There are also specialist events for women riders and it's great to see their numbers gradually increasing within our ranks. I must be a remedial rider. Okay. Must be going too slow. I'm at the back of the pack. Right. Thanks for having us, mate. As always, a pleasure. No, it's been absolutely brilliant and my first time to be involved on this wall-to-wall -wall ride which has become the central west ride this year with the COVID impacts yeah, yeah. of course and absolute awesome super sampler is how i describe the riding through central new south wales isn't well, it we, we, and there's much more to come mate. yeah and we go over we go over the great divide we do the central west we go back over the over the brindabellas and then we run back up like on this side the coast side of the great divide don't we yeah, work our right. way back to berman this time it's, it's been, it's the same every year, but it's different. Same, same, but different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we've seen that in the last two days. The weather has no, made it different, hasn't it, mate? <laughs> if yeah. it's not COVID, it's the weather. Yeah, it'll be something, won't there? yeah. So how long has this boot ride been running then? It's got a really good history, hasn't it? This Where has it come from? This you know? is the fifth year. Dave Darcy was, like, yep. instrumental coming to approach us. He was approached elsewhere, coming and saw us. 
Uh, it, it was slow to start, but it's it's one of the it books every year. Don't you watch it roll? Then once we get the dates up, it's it's rolling. And it's not just police members. No, or no, no, services. no, 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 no. It's, it's open, open to everyone. the public, supporters yep. of police, yep. Yep. and that, and that's really the uh, the good look, like link and heel of the whole event, isn't it? Oh, 100%. That wall to wall, the wall to wall, the and ceremonies, the wall of remembrance, yeah, the, the wall of remembrance, both ends. Um, the 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 police escort out of that's not kid ourselves. The police escort out of Sydney is <laughs> is pretty cool. Very running cool. through the intersections, doing the doing the Queen's Wave as you roll through an intersection. All that's really neat, but um, a, a chance to, to pay respect to a, you know, a tough working team, let's be honest, and um, it, it fits all bikes. This event fits all bikes. We get 1,200 BMWs, 250 yeah. WRs, yeah, it fits all bikes. Amazing. And and we run the standard specials as always, as you know, on our events. Yep, that's right. So where's it going in the future, guys? What's the plans with it for the future? It'll be the same, same, but different. Yeah. It'll be the same, same, but different. We. Mm. We, we, we know, we've always, I think from the start, we've always had Condoble and, and Condo. This year we were supposed to do Bathurst and Condo, but we could because uh, car race commitments and COVID yeah, and whatever, we went back change. to Condo. But we've done today a different route, we've driven to that, but we had a different route from every other year we've done. Of sure, it crosses various bits and pieces. You need fuel, you need bits, yeah. of, but it's all the same. Um, it, it'll, it'll stay very similar. And I'll stick with the same, same, but different. Yeah, sweet. Now, Crash, I wanted to also say congratulations to you, your involvement in the organisation now, mate. Thanks, mate. Up more Thanks, than mate. one or two notches, I gather. That's it, yep. No, helping Greg out. Yep. The team now. Well, he's good. not helping me out, he's part of it. He's 50% the team. Absolutely, mate. He's Handled the, the riders' brief this morning, mate, like a champion. Yeah, yeah, no I don't issues. have to be there for that now, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. So what do you see at the back of the pack on this particular type of ride, mate? Oh, this one's, it's turned, you've seen what it's like with all the rain we've had and that. There's been a few little dramas, but nothing big, because everyone's pretty sensible. They yeah. know what's going on, you know, they what did we say this morning? If it looks slippery, it is. If it doesn't, yeah, if it looks slippery, slippery treat it slippery. slippery. If, you aren't, if you're not sure, treat it slippery. That's it. Yep. No, yep. But everyone handled it really well. So. Yeah, but I think also, there to th this afternoon, the, the old rabbit trap there at lunchtime, you asked for the show of hands. Yeah. Who wants to do the main I, I tell you what, that was, that, a, was, that was amazing. The guys were just level had enough to go, you know what? We'll just, just, we'll just slab it out. We'll slab it in. Yeah, three but, days ago, but did you yeah. notice when we were slabbing out, did you look up some of those dirt roads? Every single one of them. <laughs> oh, it, was, it was horrendous. So, yeah, now look, it was, it was a good decision and I was really proud of the boys. But I guess 10 years of doing it too, it gives you the opportunity to know what you're sort of going to see. And you, course, and you get yeah. to look at your, look at the people on the ride and, and you get to, you, yeah. There's not much nowadays. I've got to tell you, there's not much nowadays where I go, oh, that surprised me. I just go, okay. Plus, there's an element of uh, responsibility. You yeah. don't want to wreck roads and stuff. Because no. you know, they've been doing it tough yep. for so long. Yeah, for sure. And yeah. how, how have we been receptive oh. out of the West? Like, they've just loved us It's been, been unreal. Mm. Yep. I saw you had how many desserts just then? Three? I mean, you're helping the community. <laughs> Did you only see the three of them? Oh, sorry. No, there were more than that. Yeah, I got there late. I thought you were going to reference the lamb cutlets. <laughs> no, no, but you were supporting the community. How good are the lamb cutlets? We, Dave and I both noticed. Yeah. They've gotten cheaper. The further west we've gone yeah. each night, and they've actually got better in quality. I think yeah. you'd agree, Dave. Mate, best cutlass. Yeah, absolutely. But how many good when you get out west on a no. Saturday night and you get a steak sandwich and you can bite it? Oh. And that's the end of it. You're not. That's <laughs> right. It comes off in your teeth <laughs> and you just chew it. mouthful by mouthful. Go west in New South Wales. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, well, thanks for a great time, guys. No, that's right. Look forward to the next one. And two thumbs up from Clubby. That's the mark. Absolutely. He's praying to the great adventure god to get this road open because it looks so inviting. Have a look at that. Look at that. We're on the western plains. And that's the sort of goodness you get. Just these lovely ambling roads. Hey, tree lined. Haven't, haven't we learned? It just takes a lick of rain out here, doesn't it? <laughs> to turn it all to tears, it really does. Doesn't take much. Black mud phobia. Oh, it is. They tell me black mud gives you flatulence. Oh, okay, so let's just say certain aspects of my 
bodily orifices were on fire last night, Dave. I will attest to that. You nearly killed me. Everyone says you ride pumpkins, Darcy. You gotta get blue into you. Get some blue. Oh, no, no, no. Well, that's our ride report for the Central West Tour. A slightly different format, tell us what you think. The next two videos will see us continue with our series, the KTM Big Twins, with the next episode focusing on the mighty KTM 1290 Super Adventure. Look at that mud in there, look at it. It's setting like concrete too. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah.